pits. He starts on the outside of the third row. Justin Melhuis, Travis Southwell, and a repaired Gavin Minty, who's only just got the car out there for this heat race, they tell me. Nine starters, eight laps ahead of him. The final penultimate race of what's been a very big day so far as Speedway. Just a feature race is to come. Interval after this race is they're two and three wide. And Logan Warren off with John to split through the middle. In 51 for Scatterfield Smash Repairs. He's right in amongst it. But Ben Norman, one of the regulars here at Ellenbrook Speedway, he will lead the bunch out of turn number four for the first occasion. The two new model Falcons of Walker and Amajiri side by side. Oldfield makes it three wide as they enter turn number one in the reverse direction through Hawkins Cotter. And it's Warren Oldfield who now sits in second place as Gavin Minty has taken his Commodore to the infield. So all that work has amounted to pretty much nothing. Hopefully Gavin will be uh, good to go for the feature race for our street stocks. And they're supported this afternoon by Oldfield Settlement Services. And it's the 66 of Ben Norman for Prestige Installations, who leads Warren Oldfield, Stephanie Amagiri, Peter Walker, be just happy to be back out there. And the Grandmasters Falcon, Damon Hunchins is fifth from Travis Southwell, who's got Marty Kelly right behind him in car number two, the Ford Falcon for commercial locksmiths. And then a long way back to the 151 of Justin Melhuish. But Warren Oldfield, he's three-quarter track high on the exit of turn number four. Stephanie Amagiri, just like what happened in the A-man of the Brian Rose, nipping at his heels. With Oldfield, will have... Uh, one eye on trying to hold off Hamajiri, but at the same time, trying to mount a challenge on the race leader. Cut up a 66 of Ben Norman. He ducks to the inside, does Oldfield. And uh, Norman just shut the door as they entered turn number three. And this is going to be a pretty good battle in the concluding stages of this one. I think we're halfway home this time around. We are. We're halfway home. Four down and four to run. And it's the Falcon of Ben Norman leading the Commodore of Warren Oldfield and another Falcon of Hamajiri. Look at Hamajiri digging on the bottom in 83. She's working the pole line to effect. Oldfield, the big outside move coming up. You'd have to feel to the outside of Ben Norman. They race hard in the Les Kowal corner. He's three-quarter track high. The driver at number 51. The Holden Commodore from Ultra Tune Morley. Now ducks back down underneath. I think he's got a passenger on board. As he looks to the inside of Norman, who again shuts the door very successfully on Oldfield. Hammer, Jerry Walker and Damon Hunchins, your top five. They're scooted away from Travis Southwell and Marty Kelly. Justin Melhuish is uh, taking his car to the infield, leaving just seven remaining. Oldfield again, another big lunge. Look at the battle. This is fantastic stuff from the Street Stocks. A lot on numbers today, but putting on a great show. Oldfield momentarily has the lead of the line to the outside once again on Ben Norman. There's not going to be much between them as uh, the checkered flag comes down on this one in a couple of laps time. He's three-quarter track high again as Warren Oldfield got close to the pit gate as they exit at turn number two. He's doing everything he can to find a way past the 66 of Ben Norman. This is fantastic racing. You can run low, you can run high. White flag from Joshy Starling. Warren Oldfield now has the nose in front. Ben Norman, a big lunge into Hawkins corner. But I think Oldfield might have got the better of Ben Norman. Out of turn number two for the final occasion. And the Scarterfield Smash Repairs Commodore, supported by Stickett Suspension, will come through Les Kowal corner and get the 36 points in heat three of the street stocks, narrowly from Ben Norman. Amajuri, a nice drive for third from Walker and Damon Hunchins with Travis Southwell holding on to sixth place from Canada 2 of Marty Kelly, but one of the races of the day. But one of the smallest fields we have here today, the Street Stocks and Warren Oldfield. He had to work for that one. Great battle between himself and Ben Norman. Nice clean speedway sedan racing. That's what we like to see. And the Holden Commodore, as you would well expect, gets the job done over the Ford of Ben Norman.